Hey there, Fringe friends. Welcome to another episode of Fringe TV. I'm James Warfield. Today we've got a close up on Fringe Cabaret. We get up close and personal with Fringe audiences, and we get even closer than we really cared to when we find out about your hidden talents. But first, we've got support director Alexa Hanrahan Hill in the hot spot. Anytime anyone has a question, I help them out. I answer their questions. What's the biggest change since 2011? Uh, the space, the Fringe Central Station, which is incredible. I like art and theater, and I like community, and I like uh, the fact that the festival is really good at bringing people together. If you love LA so much and the, the, the art here What's at the coming? Hollywood Fringe, why did you leave us? Why did you go? I left because my heart is in Chicago, even though my husband was here. So that might be a little offensive to him. He won't watch this. Love you. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Hey, Nick. Hi. Another place that helps people is this place. Yeah, it's Redemption. True. We're here eating at Redemption. Many of us have checkered pasts. We're ex-convicts, lifers, paroled from prison and given a second chance. This is a restaurant that was opened up for a second chance for uh, ex-cons, which I think is really, really amazing. A lot of the guys that work here uh, have been in prison for like uh, 25 plus years. It's like a second chance place. It's just, I haven't been to any other restaurant like that. It's very cool. Plus, they, they don't know what Twitter is, and I think that's <laughs> yeah. a blessing. It's amazing. Yeah. That's, a, that's the true blessing. Thank you. Yeah. I don't do Twitter, though, because I don't understand it. Nope. Nobody here does. Uh -uh. I can't express myself okay. in 140 characters. It's not enough. I'm a trained mind. I mean... I need, like, zero I, need, I need 140 seconds need of video yeah. yeah, and space. I'm really enjoying this room. Yeah, it's true. Good. What do you have? I have the veggie Reuben. I mean, mac and cheese and a salad with cranberries and apples and goat cheese and walnuts. And it's so good. I have three real cats we don't need to talk about because Mr. Pants! Mr. Pants! <laughs> Everybody at this table is a little weird. I'm little. not. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love this. This is place. nice. Yeah. Three way high five. It's hard to Awkward. do. Awkward. Yay! <laughs> Fringers, make sure you check out Redemption Foods right here in Hollywood. Such a cool place, such a cool mission. And now let's see what the Fringe audiences have to say when Fringe TV takes to the streets. I am very excited. I've heard really good things about Rodeo Town. We were looking forward to this for clowns, so we saw it. <laughs> Insane. What are synonyms for crazy? No, hilarious. Bizarre. I liked it. I thought, thought it was good. Didn't know what to expect. I didn't know it's going to be as interactive as it was. <laughs> so the audience was on the shows too. It was fun. As long as I don't get picked. <laughs> Everybody is really good here, and so you have to really push yourself to do better and put on the best show possible, or else. You're just gonna get lost. There's my favorite thing about Fringe. I know a lot of really talented people and I know that they're all performing in this festival. You don't know what you're gonna see. A lot of experimentation that you don't see in a lot of theater. I just think it's really exciting that there's a Fringe in Hollywood and gets bigger all the time. What's the biggest changes you've seen over the past few years? It's changed in that it's, it's gotten bigger. It's just growing rapidly every year. A lot more people are coming to the theater. It's a wonderful atmosphere. Live theater is important because it, it allows for human connection between an audience and a performer. Sounds like everybody's having a great time so far. Now it's time for a word with the festival director. Uh, I think that was a word. Thanks, Ben. Maybe the participants will have better luck. This week we asked them, what's the best line from your show? What we're dealing with here is torture, revenge, love. But how the you photograph that. I love you. Weird. I still need your sperm. Plenty of men listen to Patsy Cline. I hear them cheering, moo, moo, moo. Is there one amongst you scum who roll the dice with me? There is nothing I find more attractive than the back of a man's head as he's walking away from me. Once you've got scabies, you've got scabies. Could you take a step back, please? Your proximity is shriveling my uterus. Get your butt outside for the whole world to see you get your butt whooped. If that's what God wanted, wouldn't he have told me to? I'm sure you're the type of person who can butter her own bread. Like something nice that I don't mean. I'm really, there's this other thing right in the corner of my mind, like this little gargoyle just hanging over my thoughts. Hate is an unsteady thing. I was an army man from the day you met me. All the kids at school called Jack Crooked Cock Addison. I'll bury my finger in the yard next to Freddy. Aw, oh, yeah. His skin had this blotchy red hue that made him look like some kind of large animal that had been stripped of his fur except for that patch of pubic hair. Wait, what? When in doubt, wear lipstick. Have you ever read The Average Person's Diary? I've been waiting my whole life for someone to just let me out. When the impossible happens and the world reverts to childlike wonder. Where are you gonna go now that you know you're lost? 
Gosh, I was born a child. As everybody was. Every show, there is a new favorite line. If one tells the truth, one is sooner or later to be found out. I hate you sometimes is code for I need you. You know, the one where Heath Ledger plays the coquette who rapes his own clone? There never once was a, a woman who, from whom's, whose loins. Them can only give the love them been taught out to give. And maybe a little more. God my god, bitches. Twice, two fellas I hit with bricks. Because of her period. And uh, twas ripped from thy yes. breast. Ernest, so get out of my bank. He's a branch manager. Because the mere fact of your existence means that there is greatness in the world. And what is the spirit here in my heart? I was just standing here quietly and Heidi was all... <laughs> it's not a prison, it's a fortress. And that's my favorite line from the show. If that doesn't make you want to see those shows, I don't know what will. Have you seen Vicky? I thought she was with you. No. Have you checked the break room? The break room? Yo, welcome to the intern break room. We got my fly girls, Emily and Mary. Hey, Nick. Yo, what up? Yeah. Just real quick, how are you guys doing? Wanna join our party? Yeah. I, uh, I just needed some of the toilet thing. Oh. Okay. Oh. It's the intern break room, and I'm here to say, have a good day. Yeah. Why am I not surprised? You know, there are a lot of really hazardous chemicals in that room. At least Splits is getting some work done. Next up, we're checking in with Bella at Fringe Cabaret. What is Fringe Cabaret, you're asking? It's promo time for you. It's free promo time. You get two to eight minutes to promote your show any way you want. A scene, a song, a dance, a little poetry, a little burlesque, whatever you want, whatever is going to sell your show to your fellow Fringers. Fringe Cabaret serves two purposes. First is for promotion, but second, if you're a Fringe patron coming out to see the arts, it gives you a chance to sample different shows. Now, Fringe Festival has been described as a Las Vegas buffet. If the festival is a buffet, then the cabaret is the perfect sampler platter. You get seven or eight acts, you get to taste every single show for two to eight minutes and decide what you want to fill up on. You decide what you want to feast on for Fringe, because how many shows are there at Fringe this year? There's a lot. I'm not even going to ask because there's a lot and that's pretty overwhelming. What do I love about cabaret? The diversity. I get myself to sample shows. Honestly, I don't really get out to see that many, so I have to be picky and choosy about what I do actually get out to see. So this cabaret is going to give me a chance to go, hmm, I think I really want to see that one, or mm, maybe I'll pass on that one this year, but definitely next year so I can fill out my schedule. Plus I get to meet all the awesome fringers who are out here, which is just incredible. It's so incredible to be a part of this art community, to meet these amazing creative people, which in turn inspires me as an artist myself, and that's pretty freaking cool. So if you guys want to book cabaret time, email me, bella at hollywoodfringe.org. If you want to come and participate in Fringe Cabaret as a patron, guess what? I'm also giving away passes to shows, and all you have to do is be here. Bring a show postcard, bring a business card, bring a pen and a piece of paper with your name on it. Stick it in the little raffle box that I've gotten at the end of the show, you might win free passes. Fringe Cabaret happens at Fringe Central Station. We're here every single night except Wednesdays and Saturdays. We run from 8 to 9 p.m., so it's 60 minutes of pure awesomeness. Make sure to check out Fringe Cabaret happening almost every night at Fringe Central Station. And if you're thinking about grabbing a drink while you do so, you might appreciate this next bit of bartender wisdom. A night out chasing tail will most definitely land you in the doghouse. Seriously, don't be like that guy. And now for something a little different. Hidden Talents with Gadali. Hello, Hollywood Fringe. I'm Gadali Gubrek. Let's go out there and see who's not afraid to let out their hidden beast and show us some hidden talents. I can talk like Donald Duck. I don't speak duck. Diction. 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 Okay. Duction. I love Fringe TV. Wow. I can spread my toes very far apart. And I can pick things up with them. Would you like a flower? I can speak in a chipmunk voice. Hello, dolls. I hope you're having a good time on Saturday of the Friends. Oh my god. 
Boy, okay. I'm thirsty. Yeah, me too. Especially lying down on the ground here. Oh, oh. my. <laughs> yes! Water park! Hollywood Fringe Water Park! Amazing! <laughs> Thank you for lying down on the asphalt <laughs> and showing me the Hollywood Fringe Water Park. I can lick my own elbow. I can't do them both at once. Almost. I can wiggle my ears. And I can touch my tongue on my nose. I can suck my lip up my nose. <laughs> That's weird. Can you lick my elbow? No, we can <laughs> not, we're not putting your hand in my mouth. I could probably fit that in there, but I'm not gonna do it. That's what I, you said. That's truly hidden. In my eye. Smart and talented. Oh, nice. That's so and a chipmunk. I can give people hugs. Oh, great. I'm impressed. <laughs> Your parents must be real proud of you. I know I am. That's it for this episode for Fringe TV. I'm James Warfield. See you next time. For up-to-date information on all that is Fringe, go to HollywoodFringe.org, follow the HFF13 hashtag on Twitter, and like our page on Facebook. You can also download the free apps for your iPhone and Android.